Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I am back with another haul video for you guys, a rummage sale haul, but I don't remember what I bought. I know that probably sounds insane, but here is the hand on heart truth, my confession as a reseller, I procrastinated on this pile of stuff that I have right here. It is not small, it's a huge pile of clothing and essentially since the beginning of October it has lived in my living room waiting for this haul video. We're now on November the 10th I think as of today so this is almost a month ago I purchased all this stuff and I honestly cannot remember what I bought so it's going to be as much a surprise for me as it is for you. <laughs> I figured what I would do this whole video is just give you basically like a highlights reel. I'm going to dig through, I'm going to see what all is in there, I will show you some of the good stuff, some of the not so good stuff, just give you an idea of what all I picked up um, to resell online. Speaking of which, if you are new here, welcome! This is a channel all about reselling online. Um, I currently sell on Poshmark, eBay and Etsy. I do that while being a stay at home parent, this is my work at home job, my business that I run. And on this channel I like to share with you tips and tricks and haul videos like this one, sales videos to show you what actually sold and what it sold for and all kinds of other cool stuff in between to help other people in their reselling journey. So I remember the rummage sale, um, it was one that I go to a lot, I usually go to it monthly but I remember it was so much bigger than it usually is, like the entire haul was done out, there was a big festival that was going on at the same time, it was pretty cool um, and I was surprised that I was able to get quite a lot of good stuff and stock up for like my winter listing essentially. Um, so let's just dive in and see what the heck I bought. <laughs> Alright first thing here on top, Land's End size 4. I do like Land's End, I'm telling you this is one that moves quickly for me, it is such a good bread and butter piece meaning it's just a staple that I keep in my closet, my Poshmark closet or my eBay store almost all the time. I also find that the sales price is usually pretty darn good depending on the piece, so just a tip. Alright so this is a blazer jacket, it is not a herringbone, I thought it was, I love a good herringbone, <laughs> um, but I can tell that the fabric content is pretty good so let's check that out real quick. Yep, it is a wool and cashmere blend, so yes please, so that one there, and then we have another one on top which is another Land's End piece, I can see it, the label peaking, so another one, this is a six petite, um, and this is like a, it's not, I don't know if it's a boiled wool, you can kind of like see that texture, sort of a periwinkle blue colour, button down jacket, coat, whatever you want to call it. Again, a really nice piece, um, I can tell it's a great fabric content, yep it's a wool blend, um, just really nice and definitely appropriate for the season. Next I have a vintage piece, so this is one of the rummage sales where I find all kinds of cool vintage stuff. I've done really well there over the years, in this particular rummage sale I've got plenty of cool vintage stuff and it's always been a staple sort of once a month as I do my thrifting rounds and pick up new inventory, so I'm always happy to find a few quirky vintage pieces there. So this one I don't really care about the brand, Bay Point Threads, um, it's just a little short sleeve kind of dolman sweater but it's a uh, pointel. If I butchered that, forgive me, um, but sort of like you can Google it, it sounds like I just said it, point L. <laughs> um, it basically means a knit where you kind of like have this open knit pattern knitted into it. I hope that makes sense and it's obviously got like a floral detail in the knit as well. Um, I'm not sure on the size, oh wait, no yes I am, it's a small, made in the USA, all that good stuff. Cute little peachy pink, um, it kind of gives me Stranger Things vibes, I don't know, um, but I love a good vintage sweater so I'll grab that. Alright, another thing that I like to pick up whenever I find them, if they are nice and low, like a dollar or less, is Koi Scrubs, this size extra large, this has a lot going for it, so it's a larger size and it has a really nice loud print on it, I find with Koi, um, the louder the print or the more like specific the print, like I sold one once with cherries and things like that, um, the better that it does. So yeah, decent piece there. Alright, another jacket, obviously we're in jacket season so I'm going to have to work really hard to get these listed as soon as possible. This one's Coldwater Creek which is a brand I'll pick up when it's a filler bag. By the way, did I mention that this was a filler bag? It was a filler bag! Um, the trash bags were like $10 to fill them up, um, like the big the big trash bags, $10 to fill them up um, and so that's what I did. So everything here would have been like around uh, 50 to 75 cents a piece. So anyway, having said that, Nice low cost of goods, Coldwater Creek size medium, this is a wool blend again and it's what I would call a tapestry jacket and this is a type, like a style that I find that Coldwater Creek is quite well known for um, and it just basically means like the way that it's woven and whatnot. It kind of reminds me of like Mary Poppins 
carpet bag if you know what I'm saying and it feels like that too um, but yes tapestry jacket right there wool blend again great for the season these are something that I may put away for spring not because I don't list things out of season but I just like to prioritize with the season if that makes sense so if I list all of my sweaters and coats right now I may go back and start listing like the spring and summer shorts dresses that kind of thing um, and this will probably fall in that category so I'll squirrel it away for now but hot cotton brand I really like to grab um, they are 100% linen and they are just a cropped wide leg pant in a sort of like a rusty orange color actually a really nice piece um, great keyword for these that you will hear sort of going around in the reseller circles is lag and look and um, go ahead and google it and you'll see exactly what I mean by the style but I will be putting that in my um, description and my title as well okay what do we have <laughs> I have no idea Michael by Michael Kors size extra large Again, fill a bag, so that's probably why I grabbed this. But it's also an animal print, and that's very on trend right now as we are here in the fall of 2019. Um, so animal print, it's a good size, it's a decent brand, it's got that kind of zipper detail there. It's sort of like a very, very thin net kind of tunic length top. Uh, yeah. All right, we got Talbots, which is a small petite. There's the tag there. I dare say there will be a lot of Land's End and Talbots in here. That's usually what I walk away with from this sale. We will see. Um, a light chambray denim popover. I say popover because as you can see here, there are some buttons going down the chest, but it's not all the way down to be a button down blouse. Um, so therefore it just pops over the body, as it were. Abercrombie & Fitch. Again, not something I pick up unless it's super crazy cheap, but I feel like this is kind of cute for the season. Again, we're in fall and winter here, holiday season coming up. It's just a little gray sweatshirt and then it has all of this really nice embellished beaded detail around the neckline. So again, you know, maybe you squeeze kind of $15 or so out of that if I'm lucky. What is this? What is this? It has a stain, I can tell you that. Max Diane, that is a retro vintage tag right there, super 90s. Um, okay, it is a like cozy knit sweater and it has a bunch of like floral detail. This is cute, I think this is kind of fun for a vintage sweater. I will say I've spotted one mark on the back and one little mark on the front that I must have missed. So I think this will be getting some stain treatment, but this right here is something that I will anticipate moving on Etsy. Um, I will list it on Poshmark, eBay and Etsy and I do well with vintage sweaters on eBay and definitely, definitely Poshmark as well but Etsy is where my vintage sweaters always seem to go the fastest, I don't know it just seems to be the platform for that so we will see another vintage sweater, oh look at the colours and it's got shoulder pads, stop <laughs> I love it, wow, yeah this is a statement vintage sweater, I love it, that's really cool Okay, we have a Christmas sweater, so obviously I need to move my butt and get this listed ASAP because we are early to mid-November, so I need to do that. Um, note to self. Uh, EMT, I do not know what that is, but it is a silk angora and lamb's wool blend, which is ever so fancy for what we would now consider an ugly Christmas sweater. It does come with shoulder pads again, and these big sort of candy cane bows are all beaded embellishments. So it has a few things going for it. It has the fact that it's vintage, it has the fact that it is embellished, it has the fact that it's a nice fabric content. I think that it will do okay on one of those three platforms. All right, as anticipated, I have another Land's End piece. Ooh, this feels nice. That's probably why I grabbed it. Um, small petite Land's End, you've kind of seen that before. Just a really nice sort of dark lavender, well, not really lavender, a darker purple, like a blue purple. Let's see what the fabric content is on this one. 100% cashmere, so that is probably why it feels quite nice. Um, I'll have to go over this with a fine tooth comb, of course, because cashmere is incredibly prone to holes, as is 100% wool. Um, what I always do when I'm checking these kind of items is I will put my arms through the sleeves properly and have a look um, everywhere, because sometimes when you put some pressure on the sleeves, on the neckline, like running your fingers and things, you will start to see like little holes forming in this particular fabric, fabric that you wouldn't have seen before. What I also usually do is hold it up in front of a window, because any of those tiny pinholes that are starting as well that I'm going to want to disclose and um, you're going to see extra light coming through them basically it's going to help you to identify them just a little bit easier those are my cashmere tips <laughs> all right another cold water creek size medium a very sort of heavy knit oh cardigan with gingham 
buttons, don't you know? And I don't know, it's not really a Peter Pan collar because it's not rounded, but it kind of is. And I may sneak that keyword in there just because that's kind of a popular style. We'll see. And three quarter length sleeves. Vintage 90s Sea World, one ocean sweatshirt. I don't know. I actually have a vintage Sea World snapback cap that I've had in my stall stores for almost two years now with no purchase so i don't know if i should be hopeful for this or not but the sweatshirt might do better i'm not sure now the land's end medium i think this is a men's yeah i would say that v-nip sweater it's like a teal color again men's land end i seem to do really well with that as well just a tip Lands End Women's medium petite size 10 to 11 this is like a little set so it has a cardigan a charcoal gray cardigan and then it has the gray shell sleeve the shell that would go underneath as well so i will be listing those obviously together as a set good grief extremely vintage diane von furstenberg kind of a dirty label i may have to work on that size extra small acrylic made in korea high neck like kind of like a mock turtleneck green sweater Good gracious, it has a little mark on the front I'm going to have to get off. I don't know. But I cannot leave Diane von Furstenberg behind. <laughs> I can't do it. And I think this is, I think with the right buyer, this might be kind of cool. So we'll see if I can get that looking good again. All right, another jacket, fresh produce. I do like picking up this brand, size large. And um, this is kind of like a coastal vibe type of brand. And I usually do very well with their dresses, especially with the prints. Not so much the solids, but like when they have kind of seashell prints or floral prints, things like that. I usually do okay. Um, but this is a sort of coral pink corduroy button down jacket. I think that comes spring or so it's kind of heavy for spring. No, it might be okay. Um, I will list it this season just because it's a jacket, but it may do better in spring. We'll see. Oh, that's a good sign right there. <laughs> Something exciting. I already see some marks as well. I definitely got some stain removal ahead of me this week. Um, Robin Sinclair. I don't know, but it looks to be, it's hand knit. It looks to be vintage in my opinion. Um, shoulder pads again. A big old chunky knit cardigan with all manner of Christmas paraphernalia. Oh, it even has little ornaments and stuff all over it. Woo, okay, um, yeah, I do really well with these. I actually sold one just like this with the same kind of like um, quartered style pattern on it um, today on Etsy for 35. So no, 40, for 40. So I always pick them up because they do sort of have a bit of a following. There's like chunky, cozy knits, especially in the ugly Christmas sweater style. I actually don't always think they're ugly Christmas sweaters, by the way. Sometimes I think they're kind of cool, but those are just keywords that usually help the right buyer find that item. I hope that makes sense. All right, another knit, Aaron Crafts, A-R-A-N, Ireland, 95% extra fine merino wool, 5% cash, cashmere, made in Ireland. You can't go wrong. And it's a chunky knit fisherman cable knit style sweater. Um, now, it does have some pilling to it and some fluffing and stuff. It does need like a little bit of love, I would say. Like you can kind of see here on the edge. It does need a few pieces kind of like plucked off it. But honestly, I feel like I could sell it almost as is. Um, these kind of sweaters can go up to sort of like $60 and whatnot, depending on the brand and just the fact that they are a great fabric content made in Ireland and that this particular style. This is like a rusted orange color. It feels so good. Um, I think that this piece is gonna do well, but it does need just a little bit of love first. Ooh, what is this? Chico, size one. Good old Chico. <laughs> uh, there we go. Bread and butter, absolutely. This is like a butterfly print. Kind of interesting. I don't know. Um, Chico's is vanity sizing, so when it says size one, you can go onto their website, their size chart. That's going to break it down. I think size one is a medium. Could be wrong. Double check me. Um, but just make sure you have sort of both sizes in your listing to help your buyer. But yeah, a little butterfly print top. What is this? Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 12. They're like a little sailor pant. So it's like a seersucker orange stripe and it does have the texture to it like the puckering texture like a seersucker would have um it is a straight leg pant and then on the side it does have almost like a little kind of sailor nautical button-up style talbots medium petite cotton blend this is the older talbots tag as compared to the other one i showed you but this kind of like nordic fair isle style um knit 
and print and it's a really nice color combination as well those tend to do pretty well for me and a little button down feature on the neckline as well i think that will do okay for the season what on earth is this okay definitely vintage size 11 <laughs> i may have gone too far with this one i'm not sure um so it's a vintage ugly christmas sweater again is what i'll call it the whole tree is like fluffy it's plaid it's plaid fluffy that's interesting um little bow on top and then a ruffly mock turtleneck as you do uh we shall see how that does and um, with an item like this i will take for my thumbnail i will do the item obviously like on my mannequin like this and then what i'll do is i'll make a collage for the thumbnail where it shows the item in full and then it also shows a close-up on the detail like to show off the plaid and just the texture and stuff that way the buyer can see just when browsing that there's something kind of special special <laughs> going on with that item old navy harper mid-rise i actually just sold this exact pair of pants it's size 18 exact same size as well and i think they sold for 18 dollars if I remember correctly, um, they're just like an ankle sort of cropped uh, pant as well. Uh, just very popular. Those and the rock stars and the pixie cut are my favorite type of pant to pick up from Old Navy to resell. All right, Susan Graver Style. This is a QVC brand. Um, you can actually find the style number like down here in the where they get the fabric content and things like that it will say a and then a number if you put that into google and the brand usually you can find the exact style name which is super helpful when you're listing and pulling comps and things like that um, but it does have a little bit of a following it's a 2x so a great size a beautiful teal blue and it's just like a sort of very simple again pop over top nothing sort of wild but definitely a nice basic chico size two again just a nice blue and white i don't even know what you would call this it makes me think of pottery <laughs> i don't know if you have any keyword ideas let me know but this is the print right here just like a little basic t-shirt all right vintage i tell you, it's such cool vintage stuff from this particular one. So it's size 40, made in the USA. If you're wondering why I think it's vintage, first of all, this paper tag and all of the text and stuff. And then you can see this tag as well, just the graphics and things. It, it just is vintage. And then obviously the style of the piece as well. Um, so this is like a little faux leather, perforated. Again, it has that kind of pointel type look to it, but it is sort of a perforation. Um, little sort of vest, open vest jacket thing i don't know i'm gonna see how it looks on my mannequin but i think style properly words like boho um peasant that kind of thing hippie those kind of keywords in there as well i think that this will do okay all right you guys i'm going to do like five more items and i'm going to take a little bit of break i'm going to get myself a glass of water or a cup of tea and i'm going to come back and do the second half of this haul that way i'm not rambling on for like an hour non-stop so five more items and then i'll be back okay old navy uh size 18 they don't say what type of jean they are you know like sometimes they're uh like like i said like the rock star or whatever anyway they don't say they're just a pair of denim jeans but they're a nice dark wash and they are a boot cut and they're in fantastic condition and they are a great size and they have button flap pockets all of these things like button flap pockets i will have as keywords in my description and my title as well um so yeah i think that they will do okay maybe like 15 to 16. what are you Ooh. Oh, don't you just like it when you uh, forget what you've bought and you go back through and you think, oh, well done. <laughs> All right, Herman Geist. I'm not familiar. This could be a good brand. This could be nothing. I will have to Google. I picked it up purely on like style and fabric, I think. Size eight, made in the USA. What is your fabric content? It's a maxi skirt. I can tell you that. I don't know. It feels like a wool and I'll have to verify that, I suppose. Um, but it's like a pleated maxi skirt and then way down the bottom here, there's this kind of laser cut detail, charcoal gray. I don't know, I think that's really cool for fall and um, winter. I wonder if it's vintage. I'll have to do some investigating and let you know. Okay. What's left? Loads, there's loads left. I still have like half a box and loads of shoes. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, Land's End, small petite, cardigan, purple, bread and butter, one world, size extra large, kind of a sublimation, kind of tie-dye style print, almost like an ink blot type print. I think tie-dye is what I'm going to go with here, but that's actually really, really cute with the detail there, and then it has sort of a larger, like, flowy sleeve and some beading. I like that. 
Under Armour size large heat gear. I think this is a women's and it does not seem to have any of the embroidery on it. You know, like you get sometimes where it's like a bank or something. You have to be careful with that. Now I can still sell items that way. You're just not gonna get the same amount of money as you usually would, most likely. Just a red polo shirt. Uh, next, Land's End, size large, 100% cotton, ah, it got away, <laughs> uh, turtleneck, long sleeve green top, I actually sold a red one just like this in under a day for $18, so yep. <laughs> Alright, last thing and then I'm taking a break. Chico, size one, this looks like a dated piece but someone may dig it, I'm not sure, this may not, this may not have been the best uh, pickup. Um, just a very loud abstract floral kind of art to wear vibe um, top, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to go take a break and uh, stay tuned, if you're not subscribed yet please do think about hitting that subscribe button down below and of course the bell so that when I come back with part two of this what the heck did I buy haul video, um, the internet will let you know that I have posted it and you can come back and check it out and hang out some more. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there and I will talk to you in the next video with the rest of the haul. Bye, guys.